This is the Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition. Good evening all, I'm Shashina Roll. as always. It is so great to have you with us. Topping news, it was back to the classroom today for thousands of public school students after a long summer vacation in the Freeport area of the new school year got off to a good start as police officers were posted at strategic points to ensure the safety of students in the school zone. Tonight, we have extensive coverage on the opening of the 2016-2017 academic year. We begin with Cleopatra Murphy. Smoke from an early morning bushfire in the area of Sir Jack Hayward Junior High School had motorists driving with caution as they dropped students off to various schools Monday. It was not an issue at Sir Jack Hayward Senior High School as students made their way around campus. Principal Yvonne Ward says she has an eagle eye on this year's goals. The school year, you know, our theme, our sub theme is don't drop the ball, die for gold. So we're encouraging our students to go for gold, which is that national high school diploma. As you know, our average is a D. We're trying to raise that standard. The standards here at Jack Hayward are high. Ward says she is also focused on improving the average of students who fall short. At Sister Mary Patricia Russell Junior High School, Principal Dominique Russell was busy processing late registrants. 182 new students had already registered this year, and Russell says the school is using its new Formula for Success initiative to ensure students succeed. This is um, 10 items that we're asking every teacher to utilize in the classroom. For example, we want the students to read for at least five minutes in every lesson. We want the students to be exposed to high order thinking questions. We want the students to be able to move about. We want limited direct instruction. We want um, vocabulary to be shown in the lesson. And so there are 10 um, initiatives that we're using in every lesson. Freeport Primary School's new principal, Troy Ritchie, is focusing on raising the level of numeracy and literacy among students. We want to create a learning environment that caters to the entire child, both physically, spiritually, mentally. Ritchie also wants to increase parental involvement that he says is crucial to success. Research has shown that parental involvement can increase students' performance almost by 15 to 20 percent. With those kind of odds and parents' involvement, we are sure to be on the mark. With their goals set, the principals say with the support of all stakeholders, they are certain to meet them. Cleopatra Murphy, ZNS Network News. Well, students were eager to return to the classroom after the long summer break. Several students at Jack Hayward Senior High School say they are ready to get back on track and see what the new school year holds for them. The 12th graders shared their plans for this academic year. We basically finished all my BGCSEs, get as much scholarships and stuff as I could, do the best I could inside school for when it's time for me to go off. Been a championship in basketball, stay, keep, stay on the honor roll, and get the rest of my BGCSE that I need. I hope to stay to the top and to be successful in my classes, BGCSE. I want to study dermatology, so I'm going to go off to school for that. And then also a little bit of broadcasting. Over at Sister Mary Patricia Russell Junior High School, a group of 7th graders just starting their school careers shared their dreams for the school term. My plans are to get, get above a three-point average and to learn about new stuff I never found out about. My plans for this school year is to, to do good, have fun in my electives, meet more teachers and get, a, get above a three-point to learn new stuff and to get better grades. My plan is, is to get a GPA above three point and to be the valedictorian of the school or salute, salute Victorian so I can make me and my mo mother happy. Great plans, well, District Education Officer Mary Russell says officials in the Ministry of Education are hoping for a strong academic year and hope to see students realize their full potential. Russell was doing a run through at the Freeport Primary School this morning, just one of many schools she planned to visit to ensure smooth operations on the first day of school. And better things. The motto for this year is educating students to create lifelong learners and that is what it is all about. We want to ensure that these students are molded and that they are shaped into being productive citizens. 
And now to West Grand Bahama, where the opening of school brought a great deal of excitement for students and teachers. Our coverage continues now with Italia Hall in the Western District. Hundreds of students headed back to schools this morning in West Grand Bahama for the 2016-2017 academic school year. Now our ZNS News team began at the West End Primary School where they started their morning off with a special assembly for all students to welcome them back. Principal of the institution, Nvidia Mills, says she's encouraging all students to strive for excellence this year. For the past few years, teamwork has been our motto. And so we believe that if we work together, that we can achieve everything that we set out to. The ministry has mandated a few things that they expect us to do in terms of reading, raising our reading level, our rate in numeracy, and I've even added a twist to it based on our results, and that is to help our students improve in the area of writing. There are a total of 145 students at the Holmes Rock Primary School. Principal Michael Rule says although they are small in size, they will continue to excel in every area. Holmes Rock Primary um, has always been traditionally um, well-versed academically and sports-wise, and so my job is to continue that tradition. At the Martintown Primary School, Principal Leslie Newton is looking to develop even better relationships with parents and the community. These children are improving and we have some programs that we'll be putting in place to help those students who need extra help. We are looking forward to a great school year and working with the people of the community. At Bartlett Hill Primary, Principal Gia Walker among those welcoming the students back to the classroom. She says students did exceptionally well in the national GLAD examinations. Those students that would have sat the grade three GLAD last year did remarkably well. We have so many A's. We had like 70% A's coming from our students who took the GLAD last year. So that's something that the invaders are starting off the school year bragging about. And of course, we just aim to make sure that the students continue to do well. Now, one thing that all of the schools will focus on this year is the theme that was issued by the Ministry of Education, which is educating students to create lifelong learners. It's Talia Hall, ZNS Network News. Thanks, Talia. Meantime, the only high school servicing the Western District is prepared for this new school term. Our Megan Shepherd spoke with school, the school's principal prior to today's opening, and he outlined his concerns this term. Principal of the 8 Mile Rock High School, Ivan Butler, says that the high school is putting the finishing touches on the institution as they prepare to open their doors for the student body. Butler notes that the government has provided quite a bit of funds for repairs and upgrades, and they are very grateful. Many of our requests in terms of painting, repairs, um, louvers, most of that has been completed and we are hoping that um, all of the work are completed by the end of the week. Butler added that he is particularly pleased with the results of the BJC examinations from the previous school year and that his students are on track for the new high school diploma. This year, Butler says students should expect to continue to excel and exceed expectations. Our theme this year is excellence without excuse and so we intend to raise the bar we are holding our teachers accountable and we're going to hold our students accountable in terms of them performing to the best of their ability. So we are pleased, we are confident that um, school, we would meet all our repair needs in terms of school opening. And as far as our staff is concerned, uh, with the exception of one department, most of our staff, uh, they are in place. So we look forward to a very productive school year. Now, Butler is also adding that he is a bit disappointed with the enrollment rate this school year. He is asking parents to give the school a chance and to enroll their students at the home of the Blue Jays. I really want to encourage the parents of this community that to really um, give this school a chance, give the teachers a chance. We are, again, disappointed in the amount of students that go into the Freeport area because we do feel that the school has been moving in a positive direction over the last four or five years. And so we are confident that the, ed the education that's being offered here at 8 Mile Rock School is on par with any school in Grand Bahama or within the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. And so we encourage the parents from this area to send those students to us because we will take care of them and they will have the sound education that's being offered here at the 8 Mile Rock High School. Megan Shepard, Sedanes, Network News. 
And this just in, police along with officers from the Civil Aviation Department are investigating a crash landing over on Walker's Key. A gray single engine aircraft registration number N599V was en route to Walker's Key from Florida when the aircraft experienced mechanical problems and the pilot was forced to resort to an emergency landing. The 45-year-old pilot and his 59-year-old passenger escaped without injuries. Now the aircraft incurred damage to the right wing and propeller. This latest investigate this latest aviation incident rather is under active investigation. Stay with us, there's more news right after this.